you know, many of our students come to us with a great deal of practical experience, but there are many things in the nonprofit world professionally that you're probably not going to have a good opportunity to learn on the job. And really, an academic setting is most appropriate for, for a lot of that kind of learning. So uh, we focus on a lot of that sort of content, or at least I do in, in my teaching. I think other faculty do as well. And it can really give you an edge in terms of perspective and in terms of confidence. Uh, one thing in my teaching I focus on is I really want students to start seeing themselves as leaders, as either current or future leaders, to consider uh, potentially an interest in board governance in the nonprofit space as well. And I think part of the value of what we offer in our coursework at Baruch is that shift in uh, perspective and that increase in, in confidence that empowers students to see themselves differently, to see their role differently, to see their future differently. And I think if uh, you're working as a practitioner in the sector um, and really focused in on your day-to-day -day tasks, you can sort of lose sight of that sense of perspective and context. And uh, an academic education like what can, you can obtain here at Baruch helps you to step back, reflect, and think more deeply, more creatively about your career. So I think it offers uh, really a, a lot for our students in terms of their career advancement in many different ways. I did my first master's degree while working full time. And so I understand that experience of you know, always having your head in the work and not being able to pop up and look around and see what, what the rest of the world is doing or what the names are for the concepts that I'm, I'm um, engaging with right now. And so for me, um, it was a clarifying moment to, to put names on the things that I do every day. Um, and what that allowed me to do is take a step back and analyze things and figure out how to make things work better um, and how to strategize my own contribution to things, just like George was saying. So um, I think uh, many of us, um, you know, when we, we came back to academia or came back to our graduate degrees, um, came looking for some answers. Um, and for me, I felt like I had hit a ceiling where I couldn't move much further um, in my organization, like quite literally, I needed a credential, but also I couldn't contribute as much as I wanted to because I did not have the vocabulary or, or the broader view. Um, and so going back to school to get my master's really helped me um, break that ceiling a little bit and also um, to, to help me contribute more to, to where I was working.